All right, Josh Brody versus Hunter. Oh, that was a great grab. I'm so sorry I didn't see the setup for it. Oh. All right, Brody, obviously very strong Pikachu player. Maybe one of the best on the team. Hunter, I have no idea how good his Samus is, and I'm not going to get a chance to find out because Brody is just all over him. That's it for Hunter. <laughs> so Soto goes, can you mention how messed up it is that they put Samus against Pika with two players who've never played Samus in their life? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, why, mm, why do they put Samus against Pika? <laughs> Who does that? That's not nice. Maybe they seeded the teams, saw that Samus oh, was, yeah. uh, was a low seed, and Pikachu was a high one. That's true. Ouch. Who, who does Samus have, like, a good matchup against that would be a high seed, though? Uh, I don't know. Like, arguably. Kirby? <laughs> like, doable, but probably not. <laughs> wow, Bark was really far into the corner. Brody. Oh, my God. I was... I don't really know the impetus behind the name switch, so someone's got to fill me in. Oh, I think uh, I think Brody, <laughs> yeah. not Bark, uh, wanted to further the association that 64 has with uh, with esports in general. Ah. And to that end, he wanted to go by his last name rather than by a pseudo name. Okay, I like that. Yeah, and it's going to be tough to. Uh, <laughs> Isaiah lost in tournament as Samus against Parks Pika. You know, it's it's gonna be hard. Yeah, it's a it's a tough match for sure. Oh, whoa! Gets through the up uh, forward smash. Not gonna be enough. Yeah, he's not gonna make it back. Ooh, and Bark loves that. He does. He uses it at any any chance. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times it, it not not that he doesn't use it well though. You know. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and Samus can get below that, that forward smash. Um, if you wait and use the up B, it, even if it's out covering the uh, the ledge, you can get below because Samus can reach above and, and kind of grab it. But it's tough, and yeah, that was tough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But right. uh, now Soto's coming up, and he has a pretty good Samus, if I remember right. You do so, remember uh, right, yeah. Yeah, so this could be very interesting. Still, I don't think Soda would choose Samus if he had to play uh, Josh Brody in a tournament match. You know, yeah, he would probably go, he not. would go Kirby, likely. Yeah. Or, but uh, but yeah, he does have a pretty good Samus, and let's see. I mean, if he could take a couple stocks, off, I mean, maybe he finishes them off. But let's see how how he can do. Anything, anything would be would be good for the for Fox Peak. the Samus team. Yeah, any any amount of stocks helps. And Team Pikachu, who else was on the Pikachu team? I didn't uh, catch all the names, uh, or I forget them now. But yeah. they put they put out a pretty strong player first. So yeah, I think I, I think Brody might be their strongest. Yeah, I mean it, it's hard to imagine a stronger Pikachu player besides you know one of the one of the top six. Yeah, exactly. Oh, well, Brody's not in the top six. No, he's not. No. He Sad lost day. to Mad Rush. He did. And he told me he didn't, he didn't want to play Mad Rush because Mad Rush plays very well against him. Yeah. Uh, despite you know, there being somewhat a, a difference in their skill levels, Mad Rush just has the, has the player advantage. Yeah. I mean, and I, I, I assume, like, Brody would win the majority of the sets, but... Interesting, he did 3-0 him. Yeah. Um, it was a convincing loss. It's incredible. Uh, was it recorded? Um, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. It's rough for Mad Rush. <laughs> yeah. No shield break there. So Soto, see, I don't know if I like that, that like full hop forward air into the shield. He wants to push him a bit, I guess, but Bart, Brody's in the middle of the platform. You're not going to push him off, and then you're going to be above Pikachu with 
Very little shield stun. You know, you're going to get yeah. caught with something. Yeah, maybe maybe he was looking to hit him or begin hitting him when he was lower and wasn't maybe above the, the ledge. Yeah, so I think so. Fall through the ledge and then would be safe. Yeah. Or maybe uh, he didn't mean to full hop. Or be safer anyway. Yeah. I think it was probably a uh, ledge drop back air or something. Potentially, yeah. I mean, you could fade back, but. Um, but full hopping and yeah, being above Pikachu is definitely not safe. No. And now a big combination. Yeah, no jump there. I, I want to see Soto play. Oh, look at all that DI! He practically was at the top platform. Wow. Wow. Soto is totally willing to just take a hit in ex and in exchange hit Brody off the stage. Yeah. Oh, good up B. Oh, he tries a dash attack. Not a bad idea, but... Ooh, I don't know if Bark wanted an edge hog and just missed. Soto looking for the... looking for the get-up mix-up. But Brody's ready. Oh! Yes! Yeah. Nice! Down, Aaron. <laughs> we both pop off a little. We just <laughs> want to see him get a stock here. Another stock here. It's really hard not to root for the underdog. Yeah, it is. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I think he thought he was going to tech, which that would have been a perfect shot if he techs. Covers a lot of options. Nice stall with that, but that Nair will do it. Maybe looking for the bomb to cover his recovery a little bit. Yeah, and at least stalled his, uh, his descent, right? And yeah. Oh, hey. That's an interesting option. Eh? Yeah, Samus's do that a lot. They'll kind of reset uh, the person after that, um, after that down air. looking like it could be it. Yeah, yeah that's going to do it. So Brody's got two left. Two left. So he has exchanged two stocks in exchange for three people. Is that right? It's three now. Oh. Oh, yeah. that's three. So all we have left is Jaime. Jaime. Jaime's good, though. Jaime's very Jaime's good. He's really good. As we as we just saw recently. You know who you really got to feel bad for in this? Who's it's that? Daniel's egg mode and blonde kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're, they may not even get a chance to play. No. But they can still say, yeah, we didn't even lose a player when we played them. <laughs> what do you call that? It's not a four stock. Oh, yeah, I don't even know. Crew battles, crew battles are weird like that. I guess you, you just count all the stocks. Yeah. 12 stock, 14 stock. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, yeah, I guess no matter what, though, too, yeah, they really put out their – he's he's the strongest Pika. Right, Egg Mode, sure. Daniels, and Blonde Kid are all very solid. But Brody's the strongest, and they were like, let's lead off real strong. It's not a bad move by any means, for, you know. Yeah. They put them against the Samuses. Pika Samus. I want to know who's deciding these things. <laughs> and let's get Capos over here. Yeah, Capos. Maybe it's Capos. Capos is secretly the evil villain of the Smash 64 community. <laughs> Dark Horse might know who put who uh, who picked who plays who, but he doesn't have his headset on right now. So Jaime won't charge yet. He knows that'd probably be against the rules. They begin. So let's see this patient style. So you haven't seen Jaime Samus yet. No. Because you, you and I comment, commentated that match. You have not seen a Samus. Uh, actually, actually, I take that back. He played Samus once when Ooh. he was teaming with Boom. Uh, okay. Just in, in one match. Brody with a beautiful up B escape. Because Jaime was coming in with that, uh, that forward smash. Oh, wow, and somehow Brody gets his shield out. I mean, with a nice upbeat. Oh, almost hits him with that nair. Brody looking to get that down tilt. Oh, and Jaime right on top of it. That's going to be a stock. And Jaime looking strong. Jaime can knows. See. Yeah, he, he knows. knows that. A thing or two. He did that to turn around. Uh, you know, he didn't want to waste the shot, obviously, but it was a wise move. And again. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, and he'll catch you with it because you're not expecting it. And look at that. And this could be. Oh. I may looking at 
What? Whoa. Right through the jab. Ah, poor man. Jaime. Could have done it without even losing a stock almost. Oh, Brody's so quick to that top plat. Run off bear. Oh. I mean, Samus is ferocious. Man. Now Brody in a position to potentially get an edge guard here. Uses those flames. Oh! <laughs> Holy crap! That that took courage. That took courage and foresight. Wow, oh, man! <laughs> the timing. That was a that was a spike. So, <laughs> wow, that was like a, that's like a volleyball play. That was so, uh, so Brody just run. comes in like a train, running right through the Samus team, and Jaime comes in and just uh, you know, double suplexes the Brody train. Yeah, and Brody's able to get a stock off Jaime, but barely. Yeah, <laughs> barely. Man, Jaime. So, Blonde Kid. Uh, I'm kind of getting to know him a little bit in the past couple of days and seeing his play style a little. He's he's very technical. He's he's quick. He's good. Blanket's good. Um, and his with his kind of like technical ability, he can take advantage. I I think of bad matchups. Yeah. So I would expect his punish game to be on point if he's able to catch Jaime in like an up tilt or something. Yeah. But Jaime, yeah, if exactly. Jaime's just that good of a player, though, that he can make this rough on Blonde Kid. <laughs> oh, oh good man. roll behind. Actually, almost really worked out for him. And again. Yeah, some good DI from Blonde Kid, though. Oh. Look at that spacing. Man, Jaime's just... Ah, go ahead. No. <laughs> Jaime's just making this matchup look like a 50-50. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he makes it look not that bad, right? Blonde Kid, you could tell, was just so scared to approach. Rightfully so. Because Jaime wants you to approach. He's trying to bait you into making a bad decision. He's not, he's not flying in. Guns a-blazing. That's not how he plays. <laughs> He's just so good with his his odd timing for this dash dance. He stays out of trouble with it. Just you can dance. hear it. Yep. <laughs> oh, no. oh! Wow. See those quick dashes. So he, he wasn't in a full sprint. It was like double dashed. Mario Kart. I think uh, I think they used to call that a fox trot. Do they still call oh, it? Oh, maybe they do. That was really cute though. Oh, ooh! Con kid, living dangerously. Yeah, and see, that's what I was talking about there. You absolutely can get underneath that. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, a little too, too bad, far. Too so, Blonde Kid holding his own here. I feel like Samus might be Jaime's best character. Relative to how good uh, the characters are considered. What if he like exclusively just works on his Samus? Could he be the next Josuke? Wow. I don't know. I mean, the, the, the North American Josuke. Maybe. I think he probably could. I mean, there's room for improvement, but like, it's just, I don't know. He's so talented in Samus. Cobra too, that was really fun to watch his matches. Surprise, Cobra's not on the Samus crew battle. Why is he not on the Samus crew battle actually? I, th I think uh, he didn't realize when the sign-ups went up. Oh, and he, that's... And so he just didn't, uh, didn't sign up for two battles. Because he's a very different Samus than Jaime, but he's so... Oh, and that was a oh, great oh. idea. Wow. But Cobra's an exciting Samus to watch as well, in a very different way. Cobra would be applying pressure, whereas Jaime is trying to force a kind of a mistake. I mean, he uses that bomb there wisely to keep him, you know, he kind of protects him himself. Yeah. I mean, there's a trade there, but... Oh, 
Yeah, you could hit me here if you want, but yeah, that's all you're going to get. Yeah. That one little tap. And you're going to get hit too. Oh, Blanca, good spacing. Oh, man. Blanca tries the back air on the reverse side of that. Oh, that's it. it. I feel like when I'm watching Jaime, I'm just I'm waiting intently for that, that grab. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to come. He makes it work for him a lot. That's going to be a stock. He makes it work for him a lot, too, because... You know, you assume that Samus can't do much off of a shield, so it's safer to shield. You shield these big hits, and and they're not expecting it, so he gets those grabs a decent amount. Almost. Bunk hit with a good hesitation there. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, he knew it wasn't safe, but... Oh! oh wow. Man, and he would, if he was just a little further out of range, that would have worked because that up tilt would not have connected. And that's a great up B escape. Oh. Long kid looking pretty decent against Jaime. Oh, almost with the call out on that tech roll. <laughs> yeah. Roll to up B. I never would have thought. And that could do it. Yeah. Wow. He was too far away to use the up B yeah. that late. <laughs> that's the end of the crew battle. Yeah, and that's a hell of a showing from Jaime, though. It's fun to watch. And the Pikachus take out the Samuses. Who would have expected it? <laughs> Thanks to Brody's just Brody's making train. short work of three out of four. Yeah. The Brody train, yeah. Uh, Brody Train. Very little know this, but it doesn't actually head to Baltimore. <laughs> it heads to the bottom of Dreamland. <laughs> so corny. <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> so I guess we got another character crew.